what up cancer sun moon and rising let's see what's in store for you guys in may all right so what's going on for cancers in may what's it looking like for them surrounding environment and all that good stuff Well, Cancer, we got a lot of splaining to do here. I'm definitely going to be getting a lot of clarification because I am seeing a month of onward and upward kind of stuff. I mean, I gotta be real. The lovers in reverse with the Ace of Swords in reverse and the Ace of Cups in reverse doesn't feel so hot, especially High Priestess in reverse as well. It tells me that May is going to be one where you're feeling a little foggy when it comes to uh, where spirits got you in life right now. So let's first see, why are you showing up as the Six of Cups in reverse? So we have Temperance and the Queen of Swords. Like you've had to make some hard decisions in order to create balance in your life. Yo, four, five, six, two. Yeah, you've definitely created a lot of forward momentum for yourself, but it, it's, it hasn't come without its, um, you know, how I'm seeing it is like driving into potholes May just feels like you're making the uncomfortable, appropriate adjustments in order to move forward. And so there's going to be <clears throat> maybe an aspect of you that's like, oh, I just wanted to get back to how it used to be. I just need to make the, the adjustments so that things get back to how they used to be when, when things were easier, when I could be more childlike, you know, that whole thing, the nostalgia of it all but spirit is definitely guiding you forward. So allow yourself to know that wherever you're feeling stuck this month, know that it is meant in order for you to have forward momentum. Go with your better judgment. Don't go with the temporary comfort of getting stuck in what was. Allow yourself to recognize that you are being propelled forward towards what could be. What's this lovers in reverse about? Why do they have the lovers in reverse? Is there in your future? Dang, 10 of swords and 10 of swords. Spirit was like, I, bitch, I said what I said. Recovery, regeneration, rebirth, beneficial improvement, advantage, profit. So something that didn't go as planned is now going to fall into place for you this month. This feels like a passion project. It could be within your romantic life, but I definitely feel this more so being a passion project or like a... Yeah, I just feel like this is something that you've been wanting to work on. Um, this solves an issue. This could be you having forward momentum within your career. I'm definitely feeling it that way, but you know, cancer, your emotions go into everything. So yeah, I can definitely sense it within your personal life as well, especially with the three of cups being around you. Um, but I am definitely seeing this more showing up in like your, your thoughts. Basically it just feels like you're getting a clear sense of this is how I'm doing things. Yeah, answering the call to action creates new opportunities. And with the world above you too, A, you're getting repetitive cards here. Speak your mind, solve your problems. Yeah, I just see you guys being in this place of wanting to 
get to get back to how things used to be and spirit is just prepping everything in front of you to move into new territory. So don't get too caught up in that part of you that's wanting to hold back because three of wands is expansion and travel. The chariot is forward momentum. This is like you could be moving this month or preparing to move, going on a vacation. Um, and the hangman is a new perspective and the world is new opportunities, new beginnings. Aces are about the new as well. So you're getting a lot of, you are moving forward into the new. So this energy of wanting to go back to the good old days, you can connect to it energetically, but I wouldn't get too stuck in it, stuck in it if I were you, because spirit is really propelling you into better, bigger and better. What's this Ace of Cups in reverse? Ten of Cups. Everything you've planned for has worked out and the Fool in reverse as well. So naive recklessness, apathy, um, inexperience, hesitation, unwise decisions, and indecision. So, again, I just be, I just pee, wow. I just see spirit lining you up for success, but it requires you to, like, keep looking forward. Go forward. Don't try and, you know, keep somebody in your life that's not supposed to be there or to feel like it's never going to be like it used to be or anything like that, because, again... Ten of Cups, the Chariot, Hangman, the World, Three of Wands, Judgment, Temperance, all of these beautiful indications of walk through the fucking door that's in front of you. It's blessed, bitch. Like, stop being so scared. You don't have to keep going back or making sure that someone from your past can can walk through that door with you. That's, that's on them. For you, like, you're going into a place that creates a lot of stabili stability for you. You're going onward and upward. Any part of you that wants to hold on to the old, work through that, <laughs> work through that. Your clear communication, and then I'm tripping over my words, your clear communication expresses what's best for all. You're being helped. Heaven is working behind the scenes to help you, even if you don't see results. Positive energy. Surround yourself with positive people and situations and avoid negativity. Yeah, dude. May is a month where you are being guided forward into alignment with the right people, the right opportunities. May is a very blessed month. You can't keep trying to stay in the old version of yourself. Okay? You can't do it. What else do we have for Cancer? Every day in every way, I am transforming my fantasy into reality. Period. Anything else? Baby girl, you are blooming. Hello. Yeah. Come through, Cancer. You are doing the damn thing this month and don't second guess it. I think that's really what it comes down to. Don't second guess it. You are going exactly where you need to go. Please do not pull the e-brake because you're going to hurt yourself because it'll just break. Just go. Just go. <laughs> Some self-care. Whoa. Hydrate. A lot of fluids, because you got drink tea, too. So you got drink tea, hydrate, wow, and soak in the bath. All of the water. All of the water. My goodness. I let the healing waters restore me. How can you make a bath feel more like a sacred self-care ritual? Ugh, like look at all of the crystals and candles and everything that's surrounding. Even got some incense going in there. Like give yourself... Luxury, baby. I am made of water and in touch with the tides of life. Are you happy with your water source? If not, how can you upgrade your water supply? Drink tea. 
I'm inspired by the wisdom of, my, of the plants and the beauty of ceremony. How do you feel when you drink tea or another beverage with intention? Taking the time to enjoy it with any discretion or without any discretion and focusing on all the flavors and feeling that arise and feelings that arise. Oh my goodness. I promise I can read. <laughs> all right, Cancer. So that is what I am seeing for you guys this month. Please let me know how that resonates for you. If you like this, make sure to leave a like. And if you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing. If you would like to get a personal reading by me, you can get all of that information, including all about my tarot classes and moon ceremonies and all of that. It's on my website, jessieretroreadings.com, linked in the description of this video. But until next time, bitch, if they ain't paying your bills, pay them no mind. And honestly, even if they are paying your bills, pay them no mind. Check you later. Bye.